All right, the other Shudder movie that I watched tonight, a Shudder exclusive called The Witch in the Window. So a man comes and picks up his son so that they can go out for six weeks, if I uh, remember this correctly, to this house. And the wife is like, you're not flipping that house, are you? Because if you are, I'm going to be pissed this and that. When they get there, of course, indeed, he is flipping this house, or so he says. The, they meet an electrician in the house, and he tells them of the colorful history of the house, a cautionary, you know, warning, blah, 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 the typical tropes. Um, and the rest of the film plays out like a haunted house film. Um, I thought that this was a little different, though. Honestly, I have to say, I thought that this was fairly unique for the brand new tenants in a haunted uh, house movie. I, I, I haven't seen one quite like this, and I think that's why I ended up enjoying it like I did. It is a slow burn for sure. I think there will be people who are bored with this one. They don't care much for the family drama. There's a lot of banter back and forth between the son and just, you know, uh, coming of age type problems that you encounter with kids or questions that they have or stuff. Um, it's not super, super heavy handed there. And the film's only like an hour and 17 minutes long. So it, it doesn't overstay it welcome because it just doesn't have time to. Um, but it is slow regardless. But I thought that the performance here from the dad and the kid was solid. There's some questionable decisions, really one in particular, but I think they do a good enough job of explaining it away of like why this character would make that decision. And there's some absolutely creepy moments. There's other moments that feel a little silly but overall, I thought the atmosphere was constant enough and, 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 you know, had a good enough flow to it that it kept me engaged throughout. Um, I, I would recommend it to people who are into slow burn haunted house movies and want to see something a little different. This film had a 1408 vibe at times, which is a huge compliment for me. Um, not so much in the style by any means, because it's not like that. I think you'd have to watch it to understand what I mean. Um, as far as, you know, what's going on more towards the end. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like a family drama thing with a horror atmosphere and some hauntings uh, surrounding it and I dug it I, I, I didn't love it um, but I, I did really enjoy the uniqueness of it and the end of this movie is sad but I think that if you get it it will be meaningful and if it doesn't really work for you I think you'll be like, that was it? Lame. Um, overall, for me, I thought it worked. And I thought it was pretty meaningful. Taking in to consideration everything that happened throughout the film and really just kind of thinking back to everything that was said and everything that happens throughout the film, I it struck me in a place where I felt it. And it was sad but in a good way, where I was like, oh, okay. And I dug that. So overall, yeah, it's a cool, unique little, f um, you know, ghost uh, movie. And uh, I would recommend it to those I have already uh, <laughs> suggested it to. But uh, if it doesn't seem like your kind of film, if you're not into like slow burn, haunted house movies, or uh, family dramas and stuff like that, you know, that's going on. I would not watch this. It, it's going to bore the shit out of you. And the ending is going to be like, what the fuck? How lame? So, um, but I enjoyed it. I'm glad I checked it out. I look forward to other Shutter exclusives. Definitely let me know what your favorite Shutter exclusives are. I've seen maybe like 10 of them, um, but I would like to see more. I have probably 10 lined up right now. So I would love to know which ones to move up the list or down the list. 
please let me know. So other than that, I'm going to watch The Outlaw King on Netflix. Adios.